First up is our big tractor. This is a John Deere 4955 built in 1989. Uh, this is an all stock tractor. The injection pump still has the original wire on it. It has about 5,900 hours. It has the 15 speed power shift, 18446 uh, rubbers in the back, 16930s in the front. Michelin, you can see it's dueled up right now. A lot of times we take the duels off just because it takes up so much room and uh, some of the things we do, it's nicer not to have them on. But this fall we spread some lime with it, with our uh, pull type lime spreader. So we wanted the duels on just so we didn't tear up at all. So this tractor, we did upgrade it this year with uh, some Larson LEDs all around. So got to use that a lot when we were lime spreading. It really made a huge difference. As Lights are super bright, so I do recommend using the uh, going to Larson if you want to upgrade your tractor to LEDs. Uh, they go right in, they work awesome. So you can see, super clean tractor, original paint. Uh, this tractor came out of Michigan. It's got the quick hitch. Sliding rear window. Uh, we've got a bunch of weights on it. The main reason we wanted a tractor this big for us is uh, pulling our wagons whenever we're harvesting. With 300 bushels of corn, we have some pretty good hills that we have to go down where the 4250 that we had previous to this, it, it would get pushed around pretty bad. So this tractor with all the weight, it uh, feels much safer. In, also, it's a lot of fun just being a big horse. Uh, to me, this is probably the favorite tr tractor that John Deere has ever made for me. So next is a tractor that you saw in some videos of Plant 2020. This is our 1980 John Deere 4040. So you can see it also has sliding rear window. Unfortunately, it has these DT710 radial Goodyear tires, which are, uh, we used to do a lot of hay, uh, small square hay bales. So they worked good in that. They didn't tear up at all. However, anytime the ground's even a little bit damp or wet, they're, they're pretty awful. So hopefully someday we <laughs> come across a nice set. But yeah, this tractor, like I said, 1980, it's also all original paint. The only thing we've really done to it is replace the uh, interior. It has about 4,500 original hours. We bought it with just over a thousand. I mentioned it has a uh, M&W turbo kit, which that was also put on by the previous owner. It's really hard to see up in there, but it gives a nice sound. I don't really know that it helps the horsepower that much, but. Yeah, it has 18,438 rears and then 1,116 fronts. Since it is the planter tractor, it has radar on it. And the 350 monitor. It has the H-speed power shift, which uh, we like a lot. We've I know there's a few gears that are kind of rough. Second to third, sixth to seventh, and seventh to eighth. They're kind of rough, but we never really had too much trouble with it. You just have to know how to how to operate it, basically. <laughs> 